inventory valuation can make or break a company. It is absolutely essential that the valuation method you choose aligns with the needs of your specific business and the industry it serves. In this video, we will introduce one valuation type known as actual cost valuation. Let's dig in. Actual cost valuation is one of the most basic and frequently used types of valuation because it values inventory based on the actual cost of the item in your inventory. You may hear actual costing referred to as item or batch costing as well. Put very simply, actual costing is the actual cost of an item for all its movements through an organization. This includes, but is not limited to, when the item is sold and received, issued to the production floor, and moved. Actual costing borrows from FIFO by using the dates an item is received in. It then assigns a lot, batch, order, or serial number to each and every item that is received. This unique number travels with the receipt everywhere. This is where actual cost is different from FIFO. Actual cost uses the lot and serial numbers to track and differentiate the actual cost of items that are received on the same day. Ultimately, this enables you to track the actual cost of the items or batches that have a lot or serial number assigned to them. There are many benefits to this approach. One is, that it improves the accuracy of both job and item costing and estimating. While you should speak with a professional accountant or a CPA, actual costing is preferred by many manufacturers whose inventory costs fluctuate between inventory purchases. Some examples might be job shops, make to order shops or engineer to order manufacturers that often experience drastic changes in their raw material pricing. Let's look at an example of actual costing. K&K is a large pharmaceutical distribution warehouse. K&K tracks inventory as it is received into and out of the warehouse. Each week, K&K receives about 10 orders of a popular virus-fighting capsule. In the first week, the cost of the bottle is $100. These bottles are given a lot number of 1. In week 2, the vendor's pricing changes and the order cost inflates to $125 per bottle. This lot is received in and given a lot number of 2. In the third week, inflation goes down and the bottles again cost $100 per bottle. This order is received in and given a lot number of three. K&K receives these in and places each of the orders into bins. They use a FIFO method so that the oldest order is used first. Now, Let's say that the orders are sold for $500 a bottle without any regard for the cost of each lot. As you can see, the profit in week one and three will be higher than week two. Since they use the oldest materials first and the first order is used, then the second and finally the third, this would be difficult to track actual costs without a lot number. However, K&K wisely assigned lot numbers to the bottles, and so they are better able to control the inventory and track costs as well as profits per bottle. And that's it. Actual costing, or the ability to check the actual cost of an item for all of its movements. Now, before you go, I'd like to ask you a question. If you buy two lots of materials, the first at $500 and the second at $600 each, and each of them get labeled with different lot numbers, what is the actual cost of each of the lots of materials? Share your thoughts in the community, comments, or upcoming assignments. And remember to come back often and study frequently. We'll see you in the next lecture.